docent here at the Topeka Zoo and Conservation Center. The turtle over there is tortoise, actually, Big Red. He's a red-footed tortoise from South America. He right now is 41 years old, which in the wild is pretty much pushing the maximum. In human care, well cared for, species can live 75, 80 years. Full grown, as red is, he's probably around the 28 pound mark right now. Tortoise care can be a little difficult. You have to really pay attention to their food. They are pretty much all herbivores, so they eat their veggies. Good foods for them would be green leaf, red leaf, romaine lettuce, kale, mustard greens, collard greens. A lot of people think, let's feed them regular green lettuce, and that is really has no protein, no nutritional value at all. It's got a good crunch, and that's about it. So we stay with the higher quality. The only way to keep them healthy is to keep them well fed, keep their enclosures correct size and clean, and you'll see by the different tortoises, some are small and not that difficult to care for, and then you won't go into the larger ones, such as your sulcata, that full grown could weigh 160, 180 pounds, some larger, and lifespan for a sulcata might be 160, 170 years. Tortoises are important. Uh, here in the United States, we have what is known as a gopher tortoise. We don't have one of those anymore. Now, a gopher tortoise is an endangered species, and again, mostly because the gopher tortoise's habitat is pretty much what developers like to build their homes on. So a lot of times the gopher tortoise loses. But a gopher tortoise is extremely important. They're what we call a keystone species. The gopher tortoise will dig burrows because it gets hot down in Florida, and they will live in there. And when they move out, that leaves space for other animals to come and live. 